Hi friends, uh, this is Rakesh and today we are going to see how to import the parameters uh, that were given in SOLIDWORKS into ANSYS Workbench. So first of all, now I will be creating a simple extruded rectangle. For that I will be taking extruded boss or base and uh, selecting any, uh, any one of the planets. Just picking, uh, just draw a rectangle. Then using smart dimensions, I will uh, set these dimensions. And here I am giving the parameter name uh, as height. Uh, so there are two types uh, or two ways to import the parameters into ANSYS Workbench. First one is giving the prefix as ds, which will be the parameter t. E. Uh, so that the workbench will uh, understand that this is a parameter and you import this one this is the first method and now uh, and use the smart dimensions again and uh, uh, set here and uh, I'm now also putting ds uh, because it is a parameter key to which to the reference of which it takes the workbench reads these as the parameters so wait. So now we will just extrude it so this is not going to work it. So, so we will now save it. File save. And now you can just open workbench and I have already uh, drag and drop a geometry component system into the project schematic and uh, now here if you see in the properties uh, it says uh, parameters basic geometry options in the basic geometry options it says the parameters should be imported and it also says the parameter key is the ds so this is why i have uh, put the ds as a parameter key in uh, defining the parameters there in uh, solidworks so it takes uh, the workbench takes all the parameters uh, with the ds as a prefix uh, uh, as a parameters here in uh, geometry the geometry so we'll now import the geometry and we'll just double click in order to open the design modeler so, so we will put the unit okay and now we'll uh, generate it you can generate the object and uh, you can now see in the details view tab there are uh, two parameters one is the height and the width parameter uh, which i have uh, given and you can just click on the parameters box so parameters can be this can be para these two things can be parameters and the parameter uh, optimization can be utilized and now i'll minimize this and there is a second method in which for, uh, you can just clear the uh, parameter key off for that uh, i will be deleting it and the placing a new geomet uh, geometry component system into the project schematic and in the and now here if you see i will be right clicking my extrude editing the sketch and i will click on the dimension and i am here uh, i am now removing the ds prefix on both the dimensions uh, which would act as a parameter key now in the second method now i am going to show you so without any having any parameters keys how can you import these parameters into workbench so save save now just going to write into workbench and i click and, and here uh, do not import directly first select and then go into the properties and you double click on the parameter key and you just clear off that parameter key so now just right click and import geometry and double click on that so the design modeler will be open and uh, set millimeters and I can just right click and generate click generate and after it is generated you can see here without any without giving any parameters key it has imported all the uh, parameters uh, or the dimensional values which we have uh, 
taken or uh, which we have given, provided in soil roots so you can just click to parameterize this uh, and you can use parametric optimization likewise so for now bye friends thank you